This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have a very special treat for you. What we're going to do today is we're going to juice out of the garden. So in many of my episodes, you may have seen me actually in my garden juicing using the different juicers. And I would encourage you to grow your own food whenever possible. It's going to be the highest quality, the freshest, and also taste the best and have the most nutrition as well. If you want to learn more about growing food, please visit my other YouTube channel, GrowingYourGreens.com. In any case, off with today's episode. So we're going to be juicing out of the garden today, and we're going to be juicing two uh, vegetables that I'm growing. Actually, technically, we call them vegetables, but technically they are fruits because fruits contain seeds. And uh, these, although they are vegetables, they're actually fruits because they do contain seeds. And the two things we're going to juice today in my juice recipe are, number one, bell peppers so we're going to juice some bell peppers specifically some red bell peppers you can see here i have a bed of uh, peppers uh, here's a green one this probably is a hot pepper but i have a mixture and over 20 different varieties of peppers growing here in my garden and if you grow your own food you can grow that many varieties and even more because every variety tastes just a little bit different but that being said let's talk more about the bell peppers and peppers in general so the peppers are originally from south America and uh, there's sweet peppers and also hot peppers uh, today we're going to be juicing mostly the bell peppers and uh, you may see a lot of the different colors I mean here's a green pepper here's one that's looking kind of like yellow here's one that's kind of like green yellow and here's some red ones and here's actually some yellow orange ones uh, all different colors now I want to let you know that the green peppers like here these ones are basically just unripe red, orange, or yellow peppers because these will change over time. Now the interesting thing is when they're unripe, they're going to have a funny taste like, you know that taste you get when you get green bell peppers on pizza? It's that taste. Some people may like that taste. I personally don't like that taste. So you can consume green bell peppers and oftentimes green bell peppers are much less expensive in the store than red ones because you know, to get from green to red takes at least another, depending on the crop, 30 days that it has to stay on the plant longer. So that, because it takes more time, costs you more money. And the growers also may not get as high of a yield on the ripe peppers versus the unripe green peppers. The benefits of waiting and getting the ripe peppers, once again, they're going to be the red, orange, or yellow ones in the stores, are that it just shoots up dramatically in nutrition. Like the beta carotene can basically go 10 times more beta carotene and the vitamin C shoots up like crazy too. So you're just gonna get a more rich and antioxidant uh, packed fruit. So I would encourage you to purchase your bell peppers as ripe as possible, even grow them yourself so that you could get the peak ripeness. I have probably like literally over a hundred, several hundred peppers right now in my garden that's fresh and I'm gonna pick a few of them and we're gonna go over and we're gonna start juicing them up today. But before I do, I want to share a little bit more about the pepper. Let's go ahead and pick one of these red guys here. These guys are super delicious and super nutritious. Here's one right picked. This one could be a little bit riper. Um, it's a little bit kind of like light red versus like a dark, deep, rich red. Now, when you pick out your produce in the store, you want to look for a couple things. Number one, you want a nice dark color. If you see the whole bin of them in front of you, you want to train your eyes to go to the darkest color pepper and pick up that one and check it out. The next thing you want to do besides the darkest color, you want one that's nice and firm. If it's soft and mushy, has little like wrinkle spots, that means it's getting old and that's actually not too good to buy, especially when you're going to be juicing with them. Because especially when you're juicing, you want to get nice, hard, firm, and fresh produce. Whether they're peppers, fruits, or vegetables, or leafy greens, you want it as fresh as possible. Um, oftentimes, too, the other thing that you may want to be aware of is that I basically only recommend you purchase organic peppers or hothouse peppers. Uh, many conventional uh, grown peppers can be high in actually pesticide residue based on some of the testing I have seen, and that's yet another reason to grow them yourself. So uh, generally, I get the hothouse peppers, um, and generally, uh, they're the least expensive at your big box warehouse store, so like a Costco or a Sam's Club any case I gotta get to picking some of these peppers oh man here's some here's some really good ones here these ones are actually called cherry bombs because they look like little cherry bombs and man these guys are really hot 
So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pick a whole bunch of ripe peppers. We'll be back to pick another crop that we're going to use in our juice today. So now we're next to my cucumber bed where I have this six foot tall trellis and I'm just vining up all my cucumbers vertically so I can grow a lot of them. And this is the next thing we're going to be using in my juice recipe today. These are cucumbers. So let me go ahead and pick one here. Now you might be saying, hey John, that doesn't look like a cucumber. That looks like a lemon. Well, you're right. It is. It's a lemon cucumber. <laughs> so these actually are my favorite cucumbers in the world. Unlike the standard, you know, market more green cucumbers you'd get at your local grocery store, you know, that have a bitter skin when you eat them and when you juice them, that kind of bitterness imparts into the juice. Um, these ones actually don't have a bitter skin, so the juice tastes a lot more, much more fresh and crisp and clean. And man, these guys, they also get really sweet and delicious. Unfortunately, you can't really buy these at most places. Most people actually don't know what they are. And like one time I was on a plane eating them just like an apple. And the lady's like, what are you eating? I'm like, oh, it's a lemon cucumber. They're delicious. But normally, uh, you know, you'd have to grow them yourself if you want them. So the purpose of the cucumbers in my juice actually, besides the nutrition, and they are packed with nutrition, uh, one of the th ways I like to look at cucumbers are just for the liquid. They add a nice neutral flavor liquid to your juice. So today's recipe is going to be very simply peppers and cucumbers, fresh picked from the garden. So I'm going to pick a few more lemon cucumbers and let's head over and get juicing. So now I've harvested a pile of peppers and the lemon cucumbers to make juice in the Omega Vert 350 HD juicer. The Omega Vert 350 HD juicer is my choice of juicers when I'm juicing fruits. And in this case, the lemon cucumbers, they're a fruit. And the peppers, they're also a fruit because they're containing seeds, even though we classify these as vegetables. In any case, they're really easy to do juice. Let's just start off. We'll take this nice long pepper. I mean, this thing is almost like a foot long. Now, to juice peppers, it's very simple, very easy. You want to make sure you remove the green top. So we'll just pull that off. If any fruit comes off with it, you could just uh, peel that off, and that could go in the juicer. But we don't want to juice the green tops. So uh, once you get that, you want to cut it in half so it can't fit in the machine. Very simple, very easy. And yes, you can juice the seeds and all. After all, they use the seeds in like red pepper uh, spice or seasoning for like your pizza at your local pizza shop. But more importantly than the seeds, you also want to be juicing this white pithy part. Actually, that's where a lot of the nutrition is. And let's talk about the nutrition in the pepper. Now, besides containing lycopene, and yes, peppers, the red peppers contain lycopene much like the tomatoes, peppers are also really rich in carotenoids and other antioxidants. There's over 30 different carotenoids that have been studied and shown to be in peppers. So, I mean, peppers are a powerhouse of antioxidants. And what are antioxidants? They scavenge their free radicals and basically they keep you younger. So definitely something really good. Now, if you are juicing some hot peppers and juicing the, the seeds and the pith, man, that's going to just fire up your juice and basically kick in the butt. <laughs> So let's turn this machine on and see how this juices some peppers. Once again, I like on the Omega Vert 350 HD, it's literally self-feeding. You just drop it in, and wow, look at that. The juice is already starting to come out. Next, we're going to put it in the other half of the pepper there. And as fast as I can cut them <laughs> is as fast as the Omega Vert will juice them. Sometimes I'll take the pepper, cut it in half, and once I cut it in half, I'll just take off the little green part. And then we'll cut it up into smaller pieces so that we can juice the pieces of pepper. And just drop them in one piece at a time. Once again, on the Omega Verb Juicer, you don't want to be using the pusher. If you're using the pusher, you're probably uh, juicing too quickly. And you know, this, this is a good approach to take just you know breaking up pieces and dropping them in one piece at a time this also slows you down so you're not actually feeding in things too quickly nice and easy pace I mean just literally the two peppers we juiced are about a half cup now so that's a totally amazing once again these peppers are hollow fruits so inside you know there's a lot of extra air space but they are actually a really juicy fruit they also contain a zeaxanthin and lutein, which are actually some really good uh, antioxidants that maybe can help you see better too. So 
So once again, we're just dropping this out. And once again, very important to take off the green stem end. There can be toxins in these, in the green part of the pepper that we don't want to be eating. And once again, the peppers are in the Solananse family. That's a nightshade family, the same family as the tomatoes and potatoes and eggplants. And once again, with all nightshades, uh, when eating them or juicing them, and I actually don't juice uh, potatoes off too often, um, I recommend you getting them as ripe as possible. That means the deepest, darkest red color as possible. Once again, we're going to cut this one in half and basically take out the green little stem end and make sure we leave all that white pith in. That's, that's the good stuff, man. Once again, seeds and all, drop them in the machine. It's not a problem for the Omega Vert. That's the job of the juicer. The job of the juicer is to separate the fiber from the juice. And you can see on this side, we got a lot of pepper pulp. And this, some of the seeds are coming out whole. Maybe some of the seeds are getting ground up as well. Let's again, cut this right in half. I mean, the Omega Vert's doing an amazing job juicing these peppers. And that's why I like it a lot. Because, I mean, we could take a look at this pulp. And this pulp, I mean, it's not like bone dry, but it's fairly dang on dry. Doing a really good, efficient job. Now, if you put this these peppers in like a centrifugal ejection style machine, like a Breville or like another machine like that, spins at high speed, it'll get a little bit of juice. It'll make it really like frothy, add air to it, but it's not going to get a lot of extraction out of one pepper like this vert would. This vert is going to get a lot higher extraction just due to the nature of the machine. This Nate, the juicer literally right here is literally like taking the pepper, squeezing it so hard it's just wringing out all the juice and that's why it's so efficient. We're already up to over a cup, almost a cup and a half of juice in just a few peppers. Once again, very important to get that green stem end off and we can just dunk the rest of the pepper into the juicer. Here's a long one. Let's pull the stem off once again and just drop this into the machine. Seeds and all, no problems with the Omega Vert. Once again, let the machine work, catch up. And if you are considering an Omega Vert juicer, I'd highly encourage you to watch the uh, video I made entitled uh, Juicing with the Omega Vert Best Practices. That's going to give you all the techniques that I use to get the best results without it backing up or clogging up. Some people get um, this machine backing up when you're juicing like fibrous, stringy things. The other thing I did want to say is that the recipe that I'm making today, which is just two ingredients, and I would always encourage you to keep your juice recipes very simple. Just remember, it's very simple. You want to keep them very simple for one main reason. Because, you know, I've made many juices that I literally throw everything in but the kitchen sink. And let me tell you, you're like used all your expensive organic produce. You're trying to drink it, but it's like, oh, this thing's so nasty. It's because you like put too many things in it. <laughs> so keep it simple and it's going to taste good too. In a lot of cases, I recommend doing what I call mono-juicing. You know, just juicing peppers and drinking straight-up pepper juice. Totally amazing by itself. If you get high-quality produce, like I'm using today. So you can see here we have over two cups now. Just juicing some peppers in the vert. It's very efficient. Doing a really excellent job. Also, if you are a gardener, occasionally you will get some sunburned fruit. So like this side of this uh, yellow bell pepper has been sunburned. No problem. Just cut this section out and juice the rest of it. So let's go ahead and do just that. And look at that. This is the section the sunburn. Right behind it, it's just completely fine. So we're going to cut off the good parts of the fruit and throw it right in the machine. Here's the inside of this pepper. Still perfectly good just because it looks bad on the outside doesn't mean it's bad overall. So uh, cut this into some pieces. Once again, drop that in the vert. And look at all these seeds going in the vert. It's the vert's job to separate them so you don't need to separate them when you're cutting them up. Now we got some nice yellow juice coming out. You could make a holiday juice with the Omega Vert. Look at this. You could have a red juice. You could probably make a white or clear juice and then you could have a green juice. That's wet, red, white, and green. 
Yeah, that's the holiday colors, right? Or have a green juice and a red juice. All right, man, look at this. We almost got three cups of juice here. Let's go ahead and stop right now. Turn that machine off. And one of the things I like about the Omega Vert is that it is very easy to clean. And it runs at a low 80 RPMs. That's revolutions per minute. It runs really nice and slow. It's, nice, it's pretty quiet. So if you have roommates or family sleeping early in the morning when you're making your juice, they're going to stay sleeping while you're juicing. Let's see, well, let's move this guy over. Man, look at this dark, rich, deep red juice right there. I'm going to drink some of this right now. Straight up pepper juice. Wow. Man, that is amazing. It has a hint of a bite because some of the peppers I grow are actually hot peppers. But, man, that's really good. Uh, man, oh, that's just that's amazing. So let's go ahead and continue juicing some peppers. And we're going to also add the lemon cucumbers in, too. So we're going to have pepper, lemon cucumber juice. Let's do that lemon cucumber right now. This is how these guys look on the inside. This is a more mature one. Nice and white and crisp, just like a cucumber you know. And once again, the Omega Vert handles the cucumbers, no problem. Pulp coming right out. Doing a great job. And in no time at all, we're going to be full and have a full glass of juice. So if you do, by chance, uh, have the opportunity to pick some uh, lemon cucumbers, you want to try to pick them on the lighter yellow side. When they start to get a lot more darker yellow, then they get a lot more mature. You can still juice them, but they're not quite as good for eating. You go cut this one in half and the seeds get a lot bigger. Here's a, a younger one that the seeds are actually still kind of green. Now, if you can't get lemon cucumbers, what I'd recommend you juice is I like to juice the Persian cucumbers or the uh, English cucumbers. And they're usually actually hot house grown. So once again, a really good source of those are your local big box store warehouse club. So the Costco or the Sam's Club will generally carry those guys. Man, as you can see, I'm almost done juicing, and I've filled up a whole almost five cups of juice with the Omega Ver juicer. I mean, this is literally taking no time. This is all garden fresh. Nothing can be better than this. So while I am making a juice with only two ingredients today, this would be an excellent base if you wanted to make a green juice. So if you want to make a green juice, you could use peppers and cucumbers for like 75% of the glass of juice, and then the last 25% of the glass you want to do some dark leafy green vegetables. So leafy green vegetables such as kale, collards, and spinach, watercress, things like that, dandelions, those are the most nutrient dense foods on the planet. They have the most nutrition per calorie. But they can't taste a bit strong, so that's why you would dilute it down with a juice like this. Wow, look at that, we almost have a full five cups. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. And uh, man, here is a juice, pepper, Lemon cucumber juice made in the Omega Vert juicer. Nothing could be simpler or tasty as this. Mmm. I could taste a little bit of fire. It's so nutritious, delicious, and refreshing on a hot summer's day. So hopefully you've enjoyed this demonstration of the Omega Vert 350 HD juicer juicing the bell peppers, and the lemon cucumbers. Once again, my name is John Kohler from DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.